That's beautiful. Back here with Glowing Street. At the Radiance. We were at the end of a chapter last time, so this time we're going to hop right in and see where it all picks up after after uh, Ike has that massive revelation, quite frankly, from Volk in chapter 20. So isn't that just good? Defending Talrega. Now, what is Talrega? Why, and why do I feel like I've heard the name before? That wasn't the wall, was it, that we captured like two missions ago? Why well, can't I remember what Talrega is? Either who's us, we had some interesting information last time. Apparently, the balance in Ike's mother, which in this, the force of balance, the forces of balance and chaos within an individual, have great implications for their ability to not get possessed when wielding the di the, the 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 amulet, wielding even just holding. Which is weird, because uh, from all we've seen, we couldn't would have thought that Mist would be a little more a little more like Grail. Because she sort of looks more like him and she has a bit more, she's got a bit more of a fiery personality like him. Whereas Ike is sort of very calm and, and I don't know, has a tendency to not overreact, I guess. And here and there he gets a little, <laughs> but it's not really his go-to. So I kind of, I, and and given his, his appearance, I sort of had the idea that he sort of was much closer to his mother than uh, Mist was. But perhaps I'm wrong, and perhaps we'll see as the story develops that there are many other similarities between Ike and Grail rather than Ike and Elena, and likewise Mist with uh, Elena rather than Mist with I uh, Grail. Or indeed, because this is how genetics work, it's entirely possible that they just inherited different parts <laughs> of, of their respective parents. Well, they both have the same parents. Never mind. The Kingdom of Dayan lies on the northernmost edge of Tellius. Its coastline is bathed in the icy currents of the Northern Sea, and frigid winds howl inland with terrible ferocity. As a result, day and winters are raw and brutal. Ice and snow scour the land, leaving frozen scars in their wake. Through these blizzards, General Ike and the Command Army press ever forward. Okay, they're carrying on. Good. I mean, not that it's good that war, but I kind of was worried that Ike would be like, would get it all into his head about this medallion and then go off and like hide in a bush somewhere. And then Dane would be allowed to progress. Bedion's Imperial Senate may have lent to Kermia troops, but they doubt, they, they, they even, even they doubt that the army can successfully fight off Dane. Yet somehow Ike and company defy all odds and capture victory. After victory. Ignoring the two where we didn't. Embracing both Princess Silencia's dream of a liberated Crimea and the tragic history of his parents, Ike marches in grim silence. People are trying to talk to him, he's just not saying anything. He's, he's, he's like, no, I'm in my grim silence right now. Don't interrupt. <laughs> defending Talrega. Who is defending Talrega? And why is defending Talrega? This can only mean one thing. The enemy knows exactly how we are going to move. With your permission, I'll begin an investigation to see if there's anyone suspicious among the troops. Ike? Ike, are you alright? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry. What is it? Nothing. I was just giving you the standard update. Shall I put it off till later? No, sorry. But can you start over from the beginning? I'll pay attention this time. Understood. Good morning, you two. What's wrong, Ike? You look so sleepy. I know the feeling. You and me both, brother. I've had a lot on my mind. I meant to sleep last night, but I was up thinking. Before I knew it, it was morning. Bleh, before I knew it, it was morning. Really? Never thought I'd hear that. Ike didn't sleep because he was thinking. I wonder if Storm will, <laughs> Zorn will start being polite. Listen, Titania, can I just... But brother, Ike! What's wrong, Mist? What am I gonna do, Ike? My medallion's gone. What? It's gone? No! What am I gonna do? It was my only memento of mother. Did you drop it or put it somewhere and forget? Something like that? No, I always carried it with me. I would never lose it. I had it before I went to bed last night. It vanished while I was sleeping. <laughs> don't cry. It's not your fault. But... but... I said don't cry. I'll find it. All right? All, all, all right? Sorry. Was it Volk? Where is he? Where is that man? Shiaram, oh dearie me. Now, <laughs> when we go up against Shiaram, my temptation would be to not bring Jill, because that would be awful. But the last time they told us not to bring a character on an expedition, we turned out we sorely needed them. So now I'm like, now I'm like, will the entire mission be easier if I bring Jill? I can't trust anything you say to me, game. No, probably, probably I'll, I'll try again to not bring her. Are you serious? You are to begin immediately. Yes, that's uh, General Patrine. If we do this thing, Dan will suffer. It's for the good of the country. Besides, it's the only t it's only one territory. Stop mewling like an old woman. I hear you, and yet. If the goal is merely to stop the command army, this is not necessary. The strength of my troops will suffice to- The last idiot who told me that ended up on a corpse pile. Now listen to me and listen well. No matter how passionate you are when you tell me you'll defeat Kermay, I'll never pin my hopes on a bunch of foreigners. All you have to do is step stop their forward progress, that's all. My plan will accomplish this. 
Foreigners, huh? I thought you were both from Dan, unless she's talking about someone else. General Patrine, do you truly think, think so little of us? It's true that we were born in Benyon and not Dan. Okay, there we go. But my men and I have been loyal to this country for 18 years. We have spared no effort to learn all the proper manners and customs of this land. But now, after all that, to be dismissed as a bunch of foreigners. No one asks how long you've lived here. Wanna know why? Cause no one cares. Certainly not me. Where were you born? Huh? Where were you raised? <laughs> this country doesn't need squatters like you. The only people Dan can count on in times of crisis are Dan's themselves. Everyone else is just gutter leavings. So we're useless. Is that what you're saying? You tell me, migrant. Why is it that you, your, your unit, which was trained to be an elite royal guard, is here patrolling this hick-infested backwater? The answer's clear to me. How about you? I... I... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I offending you? Well, here's your chance to show us your worth! Halt Kermea's advance! If you're as skilled as you claim, you should be able to limit the damage to its bare minimum, should you not? <laughs> Anger's a good look for you! I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Get going, Outlander. To General Shiram, must we truly go with it, through with this? It's such a horrific act. It's only recently that the citizens hereabouts have even come to trust us. We have no choice but to obey. It's as the woman says, the only thing we can do is ensure the Crimean army is defeated as soon as possible. General, open the floodgates. Do it now! I don't like the sound of that. Huh, but if there's doubt in that man, then maybe bringing Jill is a good idea. I don't know. We may as well bring her. I think she's still on the lower end of levels anyway. Ike, just a bit more. My god, it's already nighttime. You've been talking this whole day? Would you mind hearing my report on our last battle? Uh, sure. Go ahead, please. Very well. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't usually say that. I guess that's saying that we didn't do a good job. MVP was Boyd. Not what I expected. Earned. Oh, man, we actually got all that gold after that. Holy balls. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. With your leave, I'll excuse myself. Okay, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was just that Ike is all distracted with my medallion and everything. Understandable. So I guess the search is ongoing for that. Wow, we have our little base section. Let's see supports. Brahma Nevity! Here we go. Best buddies forever. <laughs> Where are those barracks anyway? Hmm, I'm not sure. How do these guys know where to go without getting lost? Moving from one camp to the next every day, never risking, bad food. Oh, it's got me all worked up. It's a war. There ain't nothing you can do. We just have to get used to it. I guess you're right. You and I were strangers to war before. I know. That's why I don't quite understand what passes for normal around here. I tell you, it was sure tough when I first volunteered. For one thing, we were militiamen. We militiamen are nothing but a bunch of farmers and villagers. We had courage and determination to spare, but we sure lacked talent. I know what you mean, Brom. There weren't even enough gear for us. They gave me a bow and told me to share it with another gal. But neither of us knew how to use it anyhow. Yep, I hear you well. War broke out so suddenly, the only decent training we got was how to stand for roll call. Every time you marched, people got lost, or strayed, or fled. We were losing soldiers before we even saw the enemy. That's why I don't feel bad about being taken prisoner, but this army's real good compared to my last one. What did you expect? We're in a real army now. Horse feathers! Where are those barracks? Oh, enough walking, my feet hurt. My back is sore, let's just ask someone. A ask someone? Um... Fine. You do it. What? What's wrong? I, I'm not used to t talking with city folk. What are you afraid of? Just talk like you always do. Oh, no, no. I, I'm, a, I'm a country girl. They all, all set to laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing with you, not at you. <laughs> I want that understood. Titania, I can now I can support with any of the people. Um, I'm interested in these two, of course. I'm interested in all of them. Reese is, I think, the A support I'm, I'm gunning for here. Mist and Jill would be interesting. Mist and Rolf as well. Boyd and... hmm... Who with Boyd? Maybe I won't have an ape for Boyd because Titania's with Reese. Uh, Mist, I'm intending with Jill. But he can get, at least get a few ranks with those people. He could do like B to, with Titania and Mist and then C with Braum or something. Not just yet that I don't want to rule anything out. And Lethe can support with Ike, which is interesting. I mean, the thing is, is like... <laughs> usually the, mo the B and A are the more interesting... Well, I guess I haven't seen an A, but usually the B ones have been more interesting than the C ones. Well, like... They develop it a lot, so I don't want to, like, just get a bunch of C ones, although I do want to- I'm interested in what Ike and Lethe might have to talk about. Very well, none of those for now, then. Uh, info. Woman! Three stars. Interesting. Usually that's pretty big important. You're getting an item or you're getting a new person or something. Let's speak to woman! <laughs> oh, hello! Yoo-hoo! You there, young man. I have business with the general of this army. Would you convey a message? Who are you? 
Who am I? What kind of lowborn greeting is that? My name is Khalil, and I am a first-class mage. And what would a first-class mage want with this army? What's your problem? You look as if you don't believe me. Well, I suppose I can't hold that against you. It's not often you find beauty like this, coupled with intelligence like mine. But it's true nonetheless. A mage, huh? Well, I guess you can never have too many mages lying around. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm quite skilled with a knife as well. Beauty, brains, and brawn. <sighs> the goddess has seen fit to put the abilities of three people into one delectable package. Sounds like favoritism, doesn't it? Um. Hello? Are you listening to me? There's a beautiful woman talking. Yeah, the point is that you want to join the command army, right? How much are you planning to charge? Well, aren't you the little businessman? Let's see. How does free sound? Suspicious. What's the catch? I'd like my fees to be based on performance. Watch how I do in combat and make me an offer. Depending on what it is, I'll decide whether or not to grace you with my assistance. Well, if we win, we'll have the royal <laughs> army backing us so we could give you probably as much as you'd ever want. You're not lacking for confidence, are you? Of course not! I already told you I'm a first-class mage! Um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't see why not. All right, you're in. What? Are you allowed to make decisions like that on your own? Perhaps I should speak to the general. I am a general. What? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, cool. We have Khalil on our party. Now let's ha ch check out those stats and see just how world class you are. I mean, I'm probably not going to mess with my ranks too on too much now. We've got Ileana and Soren already, and I love Ileana. I just want to boop her hungry little nose. Boop. I booped my screen, and <laughs> there was a concerning lack of stability around the point where I booped it. The screen got all like... <laughs> You know how it does when you when you touch it, it goes Bzzz. That's what it did. Uh, where are you anyway? Khalil, here you are. Oh, and she can, so she's a, a sage, so she gets knives as well. Jesus! She's ridiculously strong! Holy balls! Where the hell did this come from? Didn't we see her earlier in, in one of the other missions, like, at, at a house or something? Holy crap! Not to mention, look at all the spells she's got in hand. Well, she's sure got these two beat in terms of brawn, that's for sure. Though I think she, since she's a sage of level 6, I'd like to at least wait till these two get closer to that before I go making any bold calls here. Because if your magic is 16 and yours is 15, you might get one more from this next level up to 17 and 16, and then uh, when you class up, it might be like plus 2 or something like that, so you might actually overtake her by that point, but... For the moment, if, if we're in a pinch and we really need someone, some powerhouse for a, a mission, we know who to call. She's got Nile as well, which is a, can be a helpful one. Wowee, uh, well, welcome aboard. What are your supports like? Nephany and Tormod, interesting. Anywho, uh, welcome aboard. Nice to meet you. Rayson, uh, thanks for joining us. And how has it been? I'm sure it would be it's much different than the, the royal life you're used to. Uh, my apologies. Rayson, could you come down here for a moment? What? What the hell is Rayson's voice? What do you need? I've got something I want to ask you about. If I can help, I will. Your... Your ancestors... Forget it, it's nothing. What? Is something wrong? I apologize. Please let it go. It seems like something important has happened, but if you do not want to discuss it, that is your right. However, if this weren't a battlefield, your secret might not be safe. Please take care in the future. What do you mean? We of the Heron Clan... If we choose to, we can read the thoughts of others. Seriously? However, this power is only available to us in a calm and peaceful environment. Here, in this desperate maelstrom of chaotic emotion, it avails me not. Energy here is warped and distorted. You know, now that you mention it, Rayson, are you feeling sick? You're so pale that it's hard to tell, but I think your face looks more... <laughs> Sorry, I cracked my funny bone. You're so pale that it's hard to tell, but I think your face looks more wan than usual. Pay in no mind, I'm fine. You've got nothing to prove. Why don't you stay off the battlefield for a while? I- I'm fine, I promise. Please, do not give me special treatment. As far as giving you special treatment goes, I don't really have a choice. I promised King Phenesis I wouldn't push you too hard. If anything were to happen to you, I'd be at war with Dayan and the Bird Clans at the same time. I see. I came to repay my debt, but I'm really just being a burden. That was not my intention. Hold on a moment, who'd have said anything about you being a burden? I cannot engage in combat, so I'm nothing more than an obstacle in the field. <laughs> He has no idea that he basically solved the entire last boss fight for us. Rayson, no, that's absurd. Don't you understand how useful your abilities are? No one else can do the things that you can. You're irreplaceable. So if you're not feeling well and try to do too much, you may not be there when we really need you. I'm of use to you, then. That's what I've been trying to tell you. We depend on you and that's why I need to make sure you stay healthy. 
In that case, I wouldn't mind taking a short break. But you can call me anytime. I'll come right away. I got it. Hmm. Why did he start out with his ancestors? What was he about to talk about there? I'm not actually all the way sure. Interesting! Wish I could read his mind like Rayson says he can. Well, not that... Obviously, we're... This, this, this area is not conducive to that. Oh! Uh, well, first of all, before we leave, let me forge. But also, what kind of uh, weapons are they hoarding right now? Javelins! Thank God. Knives, wind, Elwind. Okay. Well, we've got so much money, I, I'm on some Elwind just for the convoy. I'm, uh, I won't give any to Soren just yet. Ah, uh, no, I probably should. I'll just put two in the convoy for now, though. Javelins. I'm gonna buy, like, five... In fact, I'll just go around and, and, and maintain inventories now. How's that? I basically just bought, like, one of everything. <laughs> Cool. So no hand axes to speak of, but, uh, whatever. We shall survive, I suppose. It's time to purge the inventory of some of these old, very broken swords, I think. And other tools. Oh my god, we've all got all these hand axes. These two are using the most broken ones of the bunch. What am I doing? Well, that extra bit of money has been super helpful for us. Okay, so what are we forging? Uh, I would like a special weapon, thank you for asking. So we can't do any knives, though, because that that would be a really handy thing for getting so finally into our, our proper squad. Um, I gotta think. I'm thinking either a special tome for one of our mages, or something for Marsha, or something for Astrid. I'm feeling like Astrid be a, would be a really good idea right about now, actually. Astrid or Jill, they, they are, well, Astrid is not struggling, but she's so powerful that if we got her something, it would be like, compound with her usefulness and then just be absurdly good. But, I feel like Ileana has trouble getting kills, so I'm gonna give her a, uh, special thingy. She's getting a Thunder Tome! Attack! Up! Crit! Up! Hit! Up! There we go. 10k. We've got the money for it, and the weight, uh, she's already that strong, so it doesn't matter. Let's do this! I do want to change the we weapon name. For you see, it is not, in fact, thunder, but... So she never goes hungry on the battlefield. The buffet. And can I make it purple, please? Match her hair. Oh, you don't get to change the color? That's lame. But I don't want to swap it in over the thunder, because then she'll have to use choose between the elf thunder and that. Wow! She's only got the... You know what? Uh, take this good thunder tome, and then take the buffet over your fire. Nah, it's too bad you don't get to change the color of the tome. Very good, in that case, I think we're probably ready to head off. Uh, who knows how far we will get into the actual mission portion of this next bit, when we can at least start it! Which I'd like to do. I'd, I'd like right kindly to do that. No extra XP for Wumpus. Um, as far as skills, we've only got occult still, right? But I was waiting until everyone classes up a bit because I would like to see if it's applicable to more people than we think. Time to head out then! Let's see where this next conflict takes us. Hopefully it's not too scary and awful and the worst. My Lord Ike, were you able to find the medallion? I'm gonna guess no. No, it's gone. I fear that Dan may have somehow stolen it. What? Is such a thing possible? I don't know what to what degree, but there can be no questioning Dan's involvement. Um, oh, well, I guess that is, that would be worth s suspecting because De uh, Sorin, rather, is pretty confident that we're, our moves are being traced somehow. Nasir seems like probably the easiest guess. I, w I said Volk immediately, but, I mean, he seems like, if what he said, if he was in, even remotely truthful and all that, then he's not, he's loath to touch the thing, so, probably not that. Is the medallion special? Yes. Oh, yes. I beg your pardon. What is it? My question may have touched a sensitive area. Oh, no. It's not that I don't want to discuss it with you personally. I just can't really talk about it to anyone. It, it's a private matter. Ah, uh, I see. Ike. What is it, Aluki? I hear the sound of rushing water just ahead. A lot of it. Rushing water? According to the map, there's a large river up ahead. That must be what you hear. This is unnatural. Warped. It is not the sound of a normal river. General Ike! Sir, we've got trouble! The road ahead is blocked by water! What? How can that be? Perhaps the local river is flooded. The whole region is soaking wet. Is the road completely impassable? No, sir! We can move forward, but the water's turned the ground to mud. And the water is still flowing at a tremendous rate, sir. This is going to cut back our speed dramatically. This is the work of Dayan. They thought to impede our progress in order to gain some time for themselves. And they succeeded. Blast! Is there nothing we can do? Well... If they were able to flood the road only when we approached, there must be floodgates in the area. So if we can close them, we'll shut off the flow of water, right? That makes sense. Let's get some scouts looking for gates. What's that? Hey, if you're looking for something, leave it to me. I am the Hawk King's eyes, after all. What do you mean? These peepers of mine can see for miles and miles. They're quite handy. It would be a shame not to use them. Is that some Lagoo's power? You're a hawk with the eyes of... Well, a hawk? It beats your fantastic wit! My eyesight isn't a racial ability, it's only just my own natural talent. 
Heck, my pal Oki has ears that can hear grass growing on the other side of the country. I see. Well, then the job's yours. Do you think you can find the floodgates? I just look for some openings with a lot of water pouring out, right? Yeah, I can handle that. Then please handle it, because I don't want to drown. Well, fighting. That sounds like a terrible way to die. <laughs> Good gosh, they've got a hell of a lot of wyvern riders, though. The command army is here. All troops, combat formations. It's a fast and hard. We can't let this battle drag out. Gorsh, Mickey. I guess I'm just remembering Talriga from the sequel, then. So those are the floodgates. If you can get them closed, the water will recede in about 12 hours or so. All right, let's get going. Right then, so it's not necessarily a, a actual thing to do in the mission, it's just the ultimate objective of this? Oh, so it's only a seize, is that it? That's quite a tomahawk you've got there, sir. A well-designed axe of great power can be thrown at distant enemies. Okay. Oh, clear as 20 turns arrive. Oh, it's a time limit. Oh, fun. Well, there's an open house here to visit. They made it sound like they were impacting uh, day and lives as well, though, which is which is pretty scurry with this. Like this, that this flood was going to affect a nearby city or something, considering how hesitant Shiram was to do it. Okay, good. So we want to be uh, visiting this place and this place. I'm sure we can manage that on our way over. Oh, we don't get many people for this. What the hell? 11. Good God. I'm going to bring Rayson, I think. Where's Jill? You. And then let's try and avoid bringing our level 20s here. Although Astrid would be absurdly useful here. I'm gonna bring Astrid. Now Mist and uh, Reese are both classed up healers. I'm almost tempted, I'm almost like, do we actually need a healer right now? Cause it feels like this will be a very short sprint to this and we don't get many people for it. I think the real trick is that we're gonna have to put someone defensey up front to lure like uh, all the Wyvern Riders at once and then have like two mages and Astrid uh, launch arrows and spells at them and then race and dance them, sing them up again to do that again. So he'll have to be transformed. Eek. There'll be a lot to think about in terms of the timing of our approach considering it is timed. Marshall and Mia, you guys are all level 19. We get three more. I guess Oscar, Rolf, Boyd. That's all our level 19s, I think. We've left then a very heavy tank here. Um, we've left a Titania. We've left both healers. So they don't think it was going to be any help anyway. I think we're maybe reaching the point where we, we he's kind of a lost cause for leveling. Ah, oh, there are a few mages, but I'm not going to go out of my way anyway, because this looks like it's going to be a tricky one as it is. So we've got two archers, two mages. I'm starting to think I understand why they gave us Khalil all of a sudden. Because Meteor could be pretty helpful here. Although I could always just give it to someone else. No, because they probably don't have the right rank in fire. So I'm thinking the, the, the smartest approach is we cut up here first, because that way we get a lot of the Wyvern Riders uh, dealt with first. We get in here and get this visited, and then it's just a, a, a clean sweep up here. Oh my god. A paladin with a killer bow? <laughs> have mercy. Yes, this doesn't look like the kind of mission we're going to be doing in one try. Now, arrive, I believe, means anyone can get there, right? So as long as, if I used, um, uh, Rayson to get, like, a whole bunch of us up here, we take them out, and then anyone can get up there, like, Marsha, for instance, or one of our flying people. Is Marsha with us? Yes. Either of our flying peeps, um, could, could get in there and seize it. So I'm betting there's good loot, uh, through all these things, and we're obviously gonna get a bunch of XP here, because it's gonna be a very vicious and fast fight. But with respect to Blizzard, sorry, who has Blizzard? Where did I see Blizzard just a second ago? Excuse me? Oh, there's a person standing right here. Oh, good. Oh, fun. <laughs> oh my god. Glad I saw that. One way or the other. This is going to be a uh, tight battle, but I'm not going to feel obligated to, to route. If it doesn't... Uh, if, if that does not become an easy option available immediately. Are you alright? You look rather pale. Um. General, like... To be honest, I... I know. The enemy general is your father, isn't he? How did you know? I overheard you talking to that man with the eye patch. I see. If you're having second thoughts, it's not too late. Do you want me to switch you out with someone else? No, I'll be fine. At least, I think I will. You don't have to be in the vanguard. Just keep that in mind. Thank you. Unless I order you there because I decided- Okay, cool. Sorry about this, Jill. It's just to get you- it's just to get you closure, that's all. That's my only objective. Okay, so mark you. Probably mark you. And as far as the Wyvern Lords, none of them can actually get, like, right up where I'm intending to be to lure these ones. So they've, they've got Lance, Bow, Lance, Lance, a bit of range in there. No magic on you, though. So as long as we send someone physically defensive, we should be fine on that front. And I can just kind of stay out of your ranges. Cool, so we can, we can swing up here, and this is a safe block for, like, the moment. So I'm thinking Oscar and Mia are probably people we want to bring. Actually, maybe Boyd is a better choice because he will weapon type them. Let's start with having him here anyway. Worth hand axing this? I mean, that, considering time isn't of the essence here, I think it's maybe not a bad idea to get started on this. Yeah, sure. Throw some hand axes, but don't you? 
And second one, because you're super speedy. Yikes! Very good. That's gr brilliant starting damage, and if uh, Oscar follows up, he might even be able to totally finish off. I feel like I reckon we're going to see a lot of class-ups this mission. Or at least I hope I reckon. I reckon I hope. Uh, I probably, yeah, I shouldn't really be shy about using these. Although I am just going to equip you with an Iron Lance because we might want the Javelins for later in this very mission. Um, oh, I should be careful to note that. Right, well, you're, you're like indestructible, so I can put you here and it's probably fine. They're probably going to prefer to go after you. If Axe beats Lance, then Lance beats Sword, so I want to be careful about Mia. Although she's pretty tanky, I guess I'll put her here so that just like, if one person wants to prefer her, then they are well within their right. Uh, should I bring... I guess I'll... I guess Rolf should go here because these there are probably dra Dragonites about to advance some junk. Just going to mark the person with the bow so I don't accidentally put... Marsha in that range, and I'll fly her right over here. You peeps aren't as physically defensive, so it's not maybe the best idea to have you mages so close to the action. Astrid, it's getting pretty tanky up there, but still, I'd rather have her around uh, these people here. Um, Ike, I could probably put even put you in the range of one of these few these dragon knights and get that cleared out a little earlier, can't I? For instance, they can both hit right about here. Can the blizzard reach that far? Because Ike won't be happy about that. No. So I'll put Ike here. Uh, that might attract the attention of one of them down there as well. But he's uh, pretty sturdy, so I'm not worried. He doesn't have any better avoidance with the, s the Slim Sword than the Steel Sword. So I'll give him the Steel Sword for the moment. His strength is certainly high enough to offset the weight. Ooh, Racing doesn't move as far as I was hoping. But he can still sling up one of you two. Who is he doing? Mia or Soren? Let's do Soren because he's kind of still far behind. I guess it's not my I don't want to move him that far, much farther up. Willy doodly doo. Sorry for also bringing you on the front lines again, even though I just said I should give you a break. I'm sorry, Brace. The times are tough. This is a scary mission. We need people like you. And this should be safe. Yeah, okay. So I'll put I'll put Soren just a little tucked in behind here. Let's see how this goes. What's going on up there? In near the floodgates. General, how long are the floodgates to remain open? Until the command army has been defeated. Sir, if we wait that long, all of the neighboring farmland will be drowned. The locals are already quite upset. They may not abide this much further. General? Enough. Enough. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> enough, soldier. If you've got the time to be belly aching, take your butt out to the battlefield and kill some command soldiers. Captain Har, do you support this action? This is inhumane. Lives will be ruined. Dayan citizens will die. If we, even if we claim that it's necessary in order to achieve victory, this is too much. This is Dan's way. Are you ready to disobey the king and be put to death for your troubles? I'd rather die than kill innocent Dan civilians. If you're executed as a traitor to the throne, your parents and siblings will also pay. Are you still prepared? Uh. Now do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Go. Fight bravely. Yes, sir. To gain the trust of the king, we've become cruel and heartless. First hunting and executing the Lagoos, and now flooding the lands with the pe these people call home. General Shiram, if someone hears you use the word Lagoos in this country, you'll be branded as a traitor. You're right as always. To live in this land where Lagoo's prejudice is so virulent. We've had to seal away everything we know and teach our children to hate all subhumans. All that just to survive here. I guess as a Benyon uh, person originally, he would be acutely aware of the prejudice. It's Ashnard's fault this country has become what it is today. Oh, what a terrible miscalculation we made. Even so, I, I hated the idea of furthering the corruption of the Imperial Senate. I will continue to support your reasons for leaving Benyon. I wonder if Jill has distanced herself from the command forces. I did give her warning. Above all else, I would like to avoid meeting my daughter in combat. I pray that she does not take to the field this day. Knowing her temperament, talking with you would only increase both of your sorrows. I have but one favor to ask you. Say it and it will be done. Do not fight today. What? Only one side can win a battle. If we are defeated in the end, I want you to care for the survivors and their families. Yes, sir. Commander Shiram. Commander, it's been many a long year since you last called me that. May the fortunes of war be with you. Through all that's happened, it's been an honor to serve with you. Mm. Huh. No, Har, come back. I love you. You're so cool. Damn it. I was hoping he would get into my party. Talking with you would only increase both their sorrows. They're really not, tr they're really trying to make it seem like I shouldn't talk to him with her, aren't they? I kind of would like to do it anyway. <laughs> At least for the optional dialogue, but potentially he might have a change. I don't know, maybe the singer right in front of him, it could help, I don't know. Maybe that's hopelessly naive, but whatever, Ike is putting in the work here, so we're gonna be able to advance a bit. How many of these are coming down at once? Holy crap, okay. This next turn is gonna be a doozy! Alright, one's going after Oscar. He's decently tanky, so this shouldn't go absolutely terribly, but I've got a steel lance. 
You know what's not good? Oh, he's doing no damage. Oh, sweet. Uh, rut row. All right, Ike is going to be key here. Ike and, and using Raisin to give our powerful people more turns. I think the Wyvern Riders are probably the priority here. Um, shoot. Does Regal Sword have extra effectiveness against, like, mounted people and stuff? I probably shouldn't have advanced so quickly, considering they were all going to advance upon me. All right, I am seeing how this may have been a miscalculation, but we'll, we'll see this through, obviously. Oh my god! Why did I let this happen? Since when was that a- oh, oh god, wait, relax! Jesus, how did I miss that? Well, at least he can take one hit, my god. All right, bow and lance here, can't respond. Youch. Oh man, I probably should have brought Brom. <laughs> Yet another thing he can't respond to. We'll, su we'll survive this turn, but I don't know how many more. I think the only way we'll survive this turn is with an incredibly power, uh, dedicated offense. I think maybe the thing to do... Well, Ike won't just... He won't endlessly survive against these. Okay, yeah, Regal Sword doesn't have any kind of uh, special effectiveness here. Oh, he's at weapon type disadvantage here. Right, right, right. So this is a lot of these people. I'm feeling like Astrid... Could take out a few- Why can she not go very far? Oh, because you're right here. Well, we'll have to fix that, won't we? Yeah, this looks really bad, doesn't it? Boyd will be a handy person here against all these Lance people. But we've got to get the damage. 10 and 10 here, it's not amazing. Titania would also have been a, a smart person to bring. All right, actually, maybe we, maybe a retreat isn't the bat, the worst thing here. Man, the defense is damn high. But so is Rolf's! <laughs> Let's do this! Uh, no, like, ah, oh, that doesn't do very much. Uh... Uh, brave, but the 12th shot is probably a, a worthwhile thing to use here. And this person in front is the one with the highest defense, I think. If I make it through this, it's a miracle. Oh, this one in the back is also pretty sturdy. Well, this is happening. Br uh, 28th shot this. We can clear up the front a little. And a crit. Why not? Just do like 60 damage all at once. Unnecessary, but I'll take it. This is one of those things where it's like the first three turns will be... This is like the hardest part of the mission, it feels like. Perhaps it's too early to say, I guess. Trick is, uh, I'd like to put our mages up here to, to put in some work, but... And to, put, to, to put them up any distance where they're useful, it puts them in the line of fire directly. How many of these only do 10 health in this game, right? That's not good. <laughs> this damage output isn't really sufficient on the Wyvern Riders at the moment. I think a retreat would be in order. If I hadn't put Rolf here, that is which I obviously have now. But Boyd's weapon type advantage should be very, very helpful in dealing with these ones, I would think. Should have given him a killer axe like uh, Titania had. But he can go 12 and 12 here. That's a handy way to start. Is it worth hand axing so that he can hit more people? He's still doing doubles. That's just not quite the, much, the same the amount of damage you'd want. He's not likely to get hit. Um... But there's a chance of crits, and if it means that people- Actually, do they have any ranged weapons? One of them has a wyvern rider. Uh, sorry, one of them has a wyvern rider. One of them has a javelin. I don't think that's worth losing the damage, though. I'll, I'll keep him on the steel axe now, have him up front here. Hopefully he gets a crit, and we can push them back a bit, and then uh, have our, our, our squishier people back up a little. Nice dodge! Okay, I think Boyd is going to be very key up, up here. Is he almost uh, classed up? No, no, he's almost level 20, I see. All right, I think Ike is probably the one I'm going to put to protect Rolf here. Can you at least do a bit of damage before you leave, maybe? Or maybe you should go back and do damage to people on the back lines here. This is probably the better thing to do, because you can only really take one more hit, and then you need to really get away. I'd feel uncomfortable having Rolf exposed on all four sides. I think because he's very tanky, he would manage one or two hits... Uh, but there's a lot of range around here, too. Wish I had more axe wielders right about now. Steel Lance, you can do 14 and 14 here. That's a brilliant start. Is it, uh, can you actually take a takedown on anyone else, though? No, these people have a lot of health. I do have to make some pretty daring plays here, I think, considering how, uh, frail we are on our, <laughs> right up at the front there. It's just, it's just the three, uh, brothers, basically. And I want Ike there, but he's, again, not sturdiest, and they, they all do all wipe weapon type him. I think that will be the play, though, is put him where Oscar is. Give him a vulnerary. That's probably what I'm gonna do with him. Time for the standoff, maybe? Yeah! And Kia! Nice, okay. It was at the very least a good starting uh, bit of damage on you. We gotta get some takedowns now, about so we can't just be... Okay, so our mages are we, we wanna be... Okay, I gotta, I gotta, like, definitely mark all of the Wyvern Riders, basically, and keep, like, mages and stuff out of those ranges. Oh, gosh, there's one right in front of me here that I have not dealt with yet. I should deal with you. So who can take out this one? God, no one, because they're everyone is so strong. Um, okay, so I think that's a priority, though. So let's have Oscar Steel Lance this. That's 10 and 10. Someone else will have an easy takedown on them. Then Astrid can move and take out the Wyvern Knight, and hopefully then we can... Uh, that will result in us having taken- being able to take out most of the people who are plaguing our black lines here. 
Nice dodge, by the way. Can you do it with the iron? That's nine and nine. You sure can. I'm guessing that weighs you down a little less than this. Yeah, so do that. I was definitely way overzealous in trying to get up there first, though. I should have held position and see, seen who came to attack us first. Youch! One hit's taking you down about health. Uh, about half. Sorry. Half health. Level for you. Don't mind it at all. It's opening up to 20, I'm pretty sure. I think we didn't have anyone below 19. Bring. Do, 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 do. Nice! Defense and res. Ah, I'm going to be sad to lose that one, too. All right, uh, we need someone strong like you to take out this person. God, even you. Okay, um, 14, 14. Here we go. I should have had Astrid closer to where the other Wyvern Knights are. But as long as we survive this next turn, Astrid and Rolf should be able to get up there and, uh, between them and Boyd's, uh, we weapon advantage against them, we should have the advantage. A class change, though, we can finally see! Yes! Don't mind if I friggin' do! I want to see how much your strength goes up for this. Hopefully it makes back all those levels we lost last episode, which was a bunch of garbage. Come on! I want to see all the suspense! I don't even know what it's called. What do you does, what do you get called when you're a bone right plus? Whoa! Your horse has a bathrobe now! Bone right two? Pal oh, just paladin, right, okay. Strength up by two, that's not bad. Oh, defensive by three, that's great. And movement plus one, and speed! Choose a new specialization. You will be able to use... What? You could... This is a thing? Kick ass. Uh, axes, probably, right? Yeah, hell yeah. You can now use... Frick, you that's so cool! I didn't know! I thought it would just give me one. That's kick ass! Axes because she's already got firm strength and speed, so to, to pile it on with the strongest of the three weapons, like the, the sort of... Stockiest of the weapons seems to make sense to me. Hell yeah, dude! Wicked. All right, now about you people who are probably gonna die. Um, so we want. I think I said I want Ike here. Do I want him to do an attack this turn? Because he could easily just like blah, 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 off with your head this one. You know that's not gonna be helpful because then this one's right there anyway. But then they've all they're also giving a ranged attack. But I, we're gonna be so swamped by everything here that I think the best thing to do is just go full survivability. They're probably going to target. They're not going to target uh, Boyd anyway, if they can help it. They're going to target either of these two, or probably Mia first, being a little less dodgy than him and all. But only one or two of them can do that. Um, except, see, the thing is, I'd like to have him up there to help these two. But if I don't take th these ones out, or at least form some kind of wall, then all our mages are going to get it. Then again, the mages really should be the ones we use to take them out in that case. Um, how many people do we have? It's just Soren... Soren, Jill, Ileana, and Ike. That's four people for these four people. Okay, I'm making a call here. I'm putting Ike up here to help with these two so that they don't get uh, absolutely destroyed on all sides. I have him vulnerary himself. Steel Sword is just as offensive as the Slim Sword for him, so that's fine. And now it's just about having these three do what they can against the this bunch here. Probably the thing to do is have Jill take you out. Rayson sings her... Oh, but that would put Rayson right here. That's not good. Oh, no, no, because she can Kanto back up here you know, move again back up here, race and goes up here, and then our mages try and take down you, maybe? So start with the axe person, because that'll be the harder one, because you're weapon type there. Uh, you need- you do need the 12 damage, but you get two hits, two chances here. Go for it. Hopefully you don't miss, though, because that would mean an axe coming to your face, which is not a good place for an axe to be. Yonk! Oh, right, got it. And I might be willing to let, uh, nice level up there, um, on your weapon. I might be willing to let him try and tank this one with the hand axe because they're pretty slow, and he is not. Except he's already taken a hit, so he's probably going to be... He's probably not going to survive another. Oh, God, wait. Oh, that's Mia. I thought there was another enemy there for a second. I was like, why? You know, maybe the play is, is to bring Astrid back then and have her just deck this one. Or, hear me out here. You take this one out with something like El Thunder. You could, you could do something like that. So then you're in this, the range that is not dragoned up. So then you're only worried about these two. I have... Uh, race and sing. Oh no, but then race and gets murderized by you. Well, that's no bueno. You don't have a ranged weapon, do you? Maybe the thing to do then is just keep you two out of trouble. Sing her and she goes down and takes this one out? No, no, no. Takes this one out. And then we just kind of pretend this one doesn't exist for the time being. That's probably the safest thing to do. Not that we're likely to survive all this. Uh, okay then, let's do this. I'm singing Astrid. She's probably the strongest fighter on this side of things, at least. If not in the whole party right now, she's really strong. Um, and then we try and take you out. So we could probably even manage it with this, maybe? 14 and 14? Not quite. Uh, what's your crit chance? Nah, nah, nah. Go for the killer bow. This is the best thing to do. How many uses you got? Uh, we gotta make some strides here. Please don't miss. Or miss the crit, rather. Okay, no crit. 
Oh, Astrid! Oh, Astrid! Oh, Astrid! Oh, Astrid! Oh, Astrid! Oh, gracious me. Okay, this has put a damper in my plans. Well, maybe it hasn't. I'm not gonna mess with this rank, because in, in the event that things get dicey, I don't want uh, someone to be able to reach race in here too easily. I think my only choice now is to have both my mages come down and take these two out, and then they'll just have to take a hit from you, and we'll call it... And it's like, that's tough, but we'll deal with it, I guess. Because they both will want take one hit from you, I believe. I think they're fast enough for that. Okay, and you guys definitely have the power to take out these. Uh, with the L Thunder, will it be bad? Speed-wise. You have an attack speed of 11 that way, and they have... Yeah, they'll never outclass that. But I think, actually, Soren probably has the higher accuracy, won't he? Yes. Get going. L wins this. Uh... Ileana's gonna do something on the other one, and then this Merc with the Hand Axe is gonna attack one of those folks, and then we might survive this owing to some luck on Boyd Oscar and Rolf's side. Sorry, Boyd Ike and Rolf's side of things. It is entirely possible. Okay, with you though, should we just do a normal Thunder to finish it? Just so we can get your proficiency up? I think that makes sense. Let's do it. Take your little victories where we get them. Hey, magic, now you're up with uh, Soren's level. Wow, 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 that was a good level. So do you all get knives when you class up, or does it, like, you get to choose, like, before? Okay, so that one's running away. Thankfully, they're, they're not all going on the offensive here, but they have a lot of people with lances here to still to do work. Okay, you're throwing it at Soren. He won't die here, and he'll respond with some Elwind. It'll be bad, but it won't be catastrophic. He even dodged it. Look at you. <laughs> Elwind. Well, it didn't actually do as much damage as I would have expected. That's gone well there. Level up for Soren, too. He might get some magic here as well. Not that it is like... Okay, no. Now you two are neck and neck with magic. That uh, satisfies some human need of mine. Okay. Going after Rolf here. Pretty tanky. No, but he hasn't got much health. It's unfortunate that he can't respond from close with the bow, but that's the way of things. I mean, he should take three hits of this, so if three people go to attack him... Oh, they can move again, though. Right, I forgot about that. Okay, this is going to be rough for him. I can, let's just hope he gets some lucky dodges in here. They're all going to gang up on him, though. They, that's the... Oh, good job, you! Okay, okay, this is... This is suddenly seeming much more plausible than it did, like, five seconds ago. He still has to tank, like, maybe three or four hits here, though. But I reckon he can. Why did you do, like, five times more damage? Oh, God! This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Don't stab the 12-year-old, please. He's just a boy. I don't know how old he's supposed to be, but he's... That's a large lance! Wait, calm down. He's a child! <laughs> I wonder what will happen to me. I'm so scared. Boyd. That's the child dying sounds. Okay, good. Well, that went about as well as could be expected. Damn, I really thought he was gonna tank that for a minute there. Ah, shucks. Well, next time we'll be starting this mission again, and we'll be doing it right. God, stop getting all these cool levels now that Rolf is dead. <laughs> if you get strength, I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, it's fine. I'm not angry. We may as well uh, roleplay this and see how the rest of us survive. I mean, since they spent all their efforts trying to kill Rolf, now they're gonna do, like, nothing to the rest of us. Shoot! It might have been better to not have Rolf there at all, but I needed him there to, to, to throw uh, arrows out. Yeah, because they're these two are dodging everything because of weapon type and just being fast because of Ike. Ah, damn! That would have been really great if not for the child murder. Very well, we'll, we'll be uh, trying this mission again in the next episode. We've got a bit more uh, insight about what to do and not do here. We can certainly hold our own for a bit. And if this is only turn three, we certainly have enough turns to get up there, so I, I shouldn't have been so quick to rush here, I think. It's not as though there are bandits about to destroy these houses, so we don't really need to worry about that. And in reality, I don't probably even need to worry about getting these houses too much. They're probably good things, though, so I'm going to do my damnedest, too. But if it comes to it, and it, then I don't absolutely need to go up here and interface with the people who are blocking that door. Either way, we tried. That's the essence of this episode. There's a lot of tension here, with, though, with uh, Jill and Shiram and, and Har and all that. To be honest, I totally thought Har was going to come out and fight with us, and we were going to be able to convince him to join us with Jill. But we'll see how we get on with that next time, won't we? So thank you very much. The next video going up on the channel is more Tales of Hysteria. Sorry, almost forgot that. Thank you very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. And we're going to be out of here now. Peace! <sighs> Uh... It's too dangerous! Oh dear. Jeez. Edna, if you die, I will not resurrect you. <laughs>